Hello everyone. In this session, we'll be discussing about Oldham's coupling. Uh, this is the figure of Oldham's coupling. Oldham's coupling. It is the third inversion of double slider crank chain. It also has two turning pairs and two sliding pairs. The four links, one, two, three, and four, are shown in figure. Link one is the fixed link. This link one is fixed. Link two is a two and four are. Flange. Actually, uh, let as say this is the driving shaft. This is the driven shaft. Actually, the driving shaft, the flange, and the slot. This together makes the link two. And in the same way, this diametral slot on link four, this driven shaft, it together makes the link four. But we consider this flange two as link two, and this flange as link four. The diametral slots. On link two and four are perpendicular to each other. The main function of the Oldham's coupling is it is used to connect two parallel shafts, as you can see from the figure, driving shaft and the driven shaft. The main function of the Oldham's coupling is it is used to connect two parallel shafts. Whose axes are at small distance apart, as this is the axis of the driving shaft, this is the axis of the driven shaft. So they are not on the same line. They are at say x distance apart. So to transmit motion between such shafts which are not linearly aligned on the same axis, Oldham's coupling is. used here diametral slots are made right angle to each other that is if in one of the flange it is vertical so on the other it is horizontal that is both are 90 degree to each other that is on flange Two and four. Here, link three is a intermediate circular piece. That is, intermediate circular piece. on which which has an opening or a embossed layer under which link 2 and 4 are fitted the motion is transmitted through link 3 that is the circular piece and as i just said it is used to connect two parallel shafts whose axes are at small distance apart and if say x is the distance between the two shafts and omega is the speed with which this flanges are rotating or the shafts are rotating so the maximum sliding velocity of each tongue 
along this slot is equals to say v is equals to x into omega where this omega is angular velocity of each shaft and if the dist again if the distance between axis of the shaft is x it will be a diameter of circle traced by intermediate center of intermediate piece let me show you with the help of another figure you can see in this figure this is the line of or the axis of first shaft this one this is the axis of second shaft the distance between them is x which is the dia of circle circle traced by center of intermediate piece so hope you are clear with the oldems coupling let me show you the uh, working mechanism or the movement of oldems coupling as you can see from this figure this the red one is the intermediate circular piece these green are the flanges that is link 2 and 4 and this brown is the wooden color is the link 1 that is a frame hope you are clear with the oldems coupling that is two shafts two shafts which are not on the same axis literally misaligned we can say are been connected to transmit motion with the help of oldems coupling so the main function of the oldems coupling is 